Hey, welcome to the limited series. Are you ready? No, but go ahead. Ready? Limited series for May 2013, our, going into our 41st year. That's right. 271, 1972. And you said that you looked it up, which I didn't do. I feel bad. I can uh, tell. Well, I'm going to go see my dad this weekend. Well, tell him hello for and me. I'll tell him that I will. And I'll tell him that, we've, that we featured the what in 1970. The Steinkrug uh, Liebfrau Milch and the Liebfrau Milch. 69 Petite Syrah from Parducci. Was he related to Blue Nun? John Parducci? No. I, knowing John, I didn't believe anything. No, the Leapfrog Milk. <laughs> Leapfrog Milk. Oh, Leapfrog Milk. Just pour the wine and be quiet, would you please? Is that next to the Matus on the shelf of my desk? Get, get, get the wine. Okay. Yeah, right. this, is, this is like one of my favorites of the year, if not the last couple of years. Did you, did you bring a bottle of this to the bottle end? I did. Yeah, because I ran into Silvio at the Hawaiian Warehouse oh, tasting, and he's, oh, yeah, I know Paul, and he bought me this incredible Cabernet, you yeah, know. Yeah, he See, bought some. This is the only, this, writing about wines like this is what almost makes it worthwhile, because the owner's son, Olivier, you know, of, uh, of, of Claude Duval, you know, sends me the information. I see that it's his dad, uh, Par, uh, Bernard Porte. And I said, my God, I've known Bernard for 40 years. You really? Know? Yeah, your dad was, your that. dad featured Claude Duval, one of the first wines, that, you know, like in 76 or something or 77. And uh, he's a great guy, and I love the wines. And I told him, oh, God, I know your dad. And he said, oh, I'm so glad. And he sends me all this info. It was perfect. It was everything I wanted. So it wasn't one of the ones you grumped at? No. Oh. No, why should I? Because I don't remember I having a follow-up on that email. I, I apologize. Get, I, I got what I wanted. Uh, this is... Yeah, so I, actually, the funny thing is, this, uh, Bottle Inn is a restaurant in Hermosa Beach, old old school Italian place, and Silvio's the, the owner and the buyer, and he, I, I didn't mean to give him this. I had sent him the other brands for him to taste. Yeah, because I'm going, you know, it's a pretty expensive wine. Why is he getting, you know, Yeah, anyway. and so he, he calls me, he goes, I really love the Heritage. I go, I gave you one of those? He goes, yeah. I said, well, that was for me to drink, but I'm glad you did. I gave him a good price so he could, so he could feature it. And this is usually twenty five ninety nine. I think it is on the website at the winery, but... And I used this in a recent CEO executive dinner party. You you that you worked at that right. one day. This is what they poured at dinner, and they flipped over it. God, it's it's so elegant. You know, I mean, it's very similar to what Claude Val puts in the bottle under their own label. And I didn't realize that he doesn't even own Claude Val anymore. I guess he sold it. And mm. Probably God, the best time, most amount of money ever made. This is getting better and better. It's really lovely wine, and um, this is like a '97 for me. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to have to go up there, too. I mean, Napa Valley Cabernet for $17.99. I'm not complaining. At this level? I mean, come I'm on. not complaining. It was a great value. It's $25.99 on the, sh on the shelf or at the winery. Uh, lovely story. Uh, average writing in the newsletter. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Really good wine. You should be. You're going you're gonna to have some fun with this one. Yeah, that was, that was really nice. Better, I, I knew it was going to be good, and it's actually better than that. Okay. Now, this is really fun. It is? Our friends at the Quino oh. decided that they weren't going to let the Tuscans get away with Super Tuscan. Oh, I know. Super Sicilia. So they have a Super Sicilia wine, which is basically the same thing. The indigenous you know, grapes of... Uh, of uh, actually, there's no near to Avalon at all. It's Sangiovese and Syrah. Yeah. And Merlot. Okay. And Cabernet and Merlot. Isn't that funny? I know. It's ridiculous, but... Who cares? The wine's phenomenal. Well, you, know? you see, you know, the funny is you see Deguino products all over. You see their coffee at Trader Joe's. You see their olive oils. But they bring in a lot of wines. In fact, he just brought in, uh, he branded something, uh, Sophia Loren or something, one of those, Bridget Bardot or some, something. But anyway, I thought this was great value. Terrific. Really good value. $25.99 on the shelf, $14.99 for more. A Sicilian with, you don't see a lot of Bordeaux grapes in Sicily, right? You can see Hard. Bordeaux grapes everywhere. I think they're planting them in England now, you know. I oh, mean, everybody delicious. wants to jump on the Cabernet bandwagon. Mm. But it's really, it's, it's spectacular. Sicily is right now probably the hottest area in all of Italy. Uh, well, the Italians don't think it's part of Italy, but the Sicilians do. And anyway, that's another story of conversation. But I think this is just, you know, the, the, the considering there's five grapes in here, or four, and it's so balanced. I mean, you really don't get one or the other. You get a nice amalgam. No, you get a nice, nice, nice amalgam of all kinds of things. And, and as Ed says, you know, this, the whole is greater than some of its parts. Okay, I yeah. Mean, it's, but it's, a, it's, 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 it's a truism. Sometimes we spout truisms. Mm -hmm. um, I think this wine's a terrific value, too. It's really good value. 2010, barrel aged, fourteen ninety nine. if you want some more. It's really good. Really fun. I mean, you can really tell your friends at the barbecue or at your dinner, like, this is a super Sicilian. Really? You've probably never seen one before. 
No, I haven't. But I hope to see one again. And now, the Real Campagna <laughs> de Vinos Blanco. Would you step out of here before I hit you with the bottle? <laughs> this caught a little consternation on Ed's part because they told me it was um, mostly, not Macabeo, but it was mostly what? What did I tell you it was? Um, Verdejo. Yeah, Verdejo, right. <laughs> and it was not Verdejo. So here I think I'm writing about Verdejo, and I'm writing about, actually, Macabeo, and I'm writing about Verdejo, and then it changes to Verdejo, and then it changes, then the name changes. And of course, you know, this is Campania with an O, C-O-M-P-A-N-I-A. -A. I'm thinking, he just misspelled Campania, you know, it's Southern Italy, but no, it's not. It's, it's Campania. <laughs> it's Campania, not Campania. Oh. <laughs> Because I'm looking at the label, I said, wait a minute, this is wine isn't from well, Italy. That, that it's would, it's that from would, Spain. You know, that would really piss me off. No kidding. I would get so mad. <laughs> I would type in all caps. If I that uh, your next <laughs> newsletter, you're going to have to untype them. <laughs> I just really thought it was really pleasant wine. Despite the trouble we had finding the information we wanted to, to convey to you in the newsletter, I just thought it was really pleasant wine, really good. It's $22.99 20, on the shelf, $13.99. It's Macabeo, which is a really fun grape. And it's Spanish from La Tierra de Castilla district. And um, I just, you know, they should have just put Macabeo on there. I don't want to put Blanco on there. Because I think what they normally do is they blend other grapes in there based on the vintage. So they don't want to get tied to one grape. So mm. they put Blanco in there, even though it's one grape. Because I think I've mm. seen this before with other grapes, you know. Yeah, I'm sure. In it. And they just, they want the, they want some flexibility. It's a wonderful depth. It's got some, I get, I get a little citrus, but I'm getting something else. I can't put my hand. It's sort of a... Uh, kiwi sort of something or other. Well, I think I, I love the guava. acidity. It's nice. I, I love the acidity in it. I like the fact that it's you know got a really nice, clean, crisp finish. It'll go well with cream sauces or, or whatever you want to throw at That's it. That's a ninety-four for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm mm. hitting the ninety-five actually because really I, I, I like the acidity. And last but not least, a picture of th oh, this guy was hurting. He must have been. What? This guy. Oh. oh. Whoever you is on the label, whoever the photo, whoever the photo op was. You know, for. half the wines we get are really great, and the only reason why they don't sell is because the labels suck. Well, <laughs> but you wonder what, why, right? No, you, you don't. You start with a clean slate, and you can come up with anything you want, and they come up with some of this stuff, and you just think, well, what are you thinking? All right. I may understand that this, you know, the wine business, fr frankly, folks, is kind of like Procter & Gamble trying to get, you know, toothpaste sold. There's only so much shelf space. you got to attract attention. you got to get that shelf space for it. But I don't think you do it with some of the stuff we see. Like the Chuck Wagon Cabernet I tasted yesterday. <laughs> I mean, the wine was great. Chuck Wagon? I mean, come on. Anyway, this is Sauvignon Blanc from a, a, from a district that I was not familiar with, Lamari Valley in Chile. I don't know what, sure exactly where it is. Well, it's probably pretty damn cool because I'll tell you the mm. acid level on, in this wine will will tear the tartar off your I teeth. I love the nose. Well, that's because I, I have two porcelain teeth in the front. So. The, the, the nose is fabulous. It's very Sauvignon Blancish, mm -hmm. um, and 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 it's got a little bit of grassiness, but it's not wet. It's mm. you know it's freshly mowed. Yeah, but that finish is going on and on. I got lemon. Ever... I got lemon zest. Mm. Yeah, God, I put this in a sauce. You know, with some Chilean sea bass. A lemon chicken with it. Fresh if you can. I mean, you know, oh, yeah. yeah, sea bass would be really Such good. a time, and I'm there, you know. Mm. Well, I'm doing a 95 on that because I think that's also delicious. Mm. And um, it's 21.99 at the winery. Well, actually, not the winery, but uh, on the shelf, it's 13.99 for more. Another great value. Here from the limited series of, the, of May of 2013. Yes, 41 years since the founding of the Wine of the Month Club. The, the original, original guy the that actually invented the idea of wine in the mail. Cheers, Dad. <laughs>